What is up? Matt Pratt here, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video. Um, we're actually gonna work on my buddy's Jeep today. Damn. This thing looks a little beat up. Oh, cool, we got a hard top for it. Yeah. I forgot. We could probably bust the doors off of it, bust the top of it off, yeah. and then start taking the uh, interior seats and stuff out. Right. Do you want to bed line all the way back in here too? Yeah, like I want to take the thing off the back door. Okay. Just bed line the back of the door too. Okay. I got four of those things. Four quarts of it? Yeah, that's it's plenty enough. to do an eight foot bed. Well, that's what I'm saying. You only need like two coats, you know, yeah. to protect your feet and stuff. Right. And then whatever's left, we'll put in the areas like maybe you want it thicker back here or right. where your feet is or whatever. All right. So, all right, cool. All right, so we got the doors off of this thing. Um, next is to pull the seats. That's what Scooby's in the middle of now. They get all this interior off, all this. You got most of it all, all the way up. And then the hard part is we got to take this sound deadening out, which looks like that tool was working. Try it real quick. You know you better put that on the or put that on the Jeep forums, dude. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. This is a paint scraper blade on a sawzall. Yeah, everything I've seen is a cup brush. Yeah, that, and it, that works great. It chisels it right off. Your wife's hair is in all over this place. Tell her she needs shave. All right, it's about what it looks like with all this sound deadening ripped up. Now Scoob started taking a wire wheel to it over here. So really smooth it out. Uh, this actually feels really good. Uh, the bed liner will definitely bury all of this. Yeah. They'll even bury that, but um, it doesn't hurt just while we're here, just make it as smooth as possible so it looks really, really even. It's crazy, they only put that stuff right where your feet are at. Yeah. Like they don't want it to, when you slam your feet on the ground, to sound hollow. Right. Right. They want it to make it sound solid. So it's not like true sound deadening. Right. 
Maybe that is because that's where the rear end's at. May, might, that might quiet down some suspension right. banging around. But really, it's just for your feet to make it sound more solid. It's kind of funny. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, look at that. That's the wife you need right there. I thought I was going to get in trouble for working on the Jeep so early in the day. <laughs> hey, boy. What's What are we working on? Transformer. Hey, what's this? A Jeep. Yeah. Ooh. You like Jeeps? Got Jeeps. Yeah. Jeeps. Big tires. Yeah, got big tires. Yeah. Huh? I eat that. What'd you say? I eat that. What is that? Do you know what that is? What do you think that is? Yeah, that's right, it's a Porsche. Starting to get a little dark, uh, but We've got all these areas pretty much grinded out with our little wire wheel. And uh, he's scuffing the edges now. We sanded the whole thing down with 80. 80 grit with a soft pad on a DA so you can really get onto all the contour of it. Uh, and now I'm gonna start taping it up. After we get it taped up, I think we're gonna get some dinner. And then we can pull this thing in the shop, probably into the booth and hopefully start spraying it tonight. So this is a lot bigger job than we intended. Look at this thing. By the way, this is uh, Scoob's $50,000 Jeep that he decided to chop up out of nowhere, take it in the woods and trash it. And now we have stripped most of the interior just to paint it black. And it's going to take us three days. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was going <laughs> um, So, as you know, we scuffed everything up, took all the sound deadening off. Now we're just like taping it up. And we're gonna do cool stuff like this. This is just a roll of foam that we use to tape door jams up. Just gonna tape that up nicely. And we have to tape this whole area off. Seat belts gotta come off. Taking this tray off finally. And we're gonna paper all up in here. But it's getting late as you can see. See, so we're gonna do the majority of the taping now and then tomorrow we're gonna to pull this thing in the booth and we pull the Camaro out and uh, actually spray the thing. So getting there, a little update. Let's get back on it. The entire Jeep taped up, bagged up. We got the uh, we got the interior scuffed up, sanded, pretty damn good. Um, pretty good enough for bedliner to stick. As you see, he wants to do this area along with this area. Um, we're gonna do from here up. We actually got to tape this up, just like we did here. 
Um, yeah, this thing should look pretty good. It's, you know, in the end, it's just going to have seats, and all this is going to be pretty much open. All the sound deadening has been taken out, wire wheeled out. You can see we took some 40 grit and started sanding everything. We're going to touch up some of the bare metal areas. Uh, we got some bolts with some tape on the heads of them just to cover up our threaded areas. We don't want to build up too much paint in there. This is going to be like a tricky area. I don't need to put too much material back in here, but I'm going to try to shoot it in there. Um, I'm definitely going to lay a ton of material right where everyone's feet goes, right there and right there. So, all right, let's mix up material and get the spray. All right, so the product that we're going to use to protect the floors is this Raptor liner. It's actually a bed liner, and a lot of guys have been using it on the inside of the floors of the Jeep. You don't have to run carpet, and it's durable, and you're not scratching, chipping it up, and uh, and so on, and it helps protect the metal. Comes with this little handy dandy mixing cup. Scoob brought the bed liner gun, which is not your typical gun. This sucker straight up spits. So what I like to do is I actually like to pour the bed liner out into a cup itself and stir it up really, really well. They, they recommend that you pour it into this little mixing cup and then pour it into there, but it's really hard to get that shaken up, even if you have a paint shaker. I, I think it's best that we just use this cup and we stir it up to make sure it's really thoroughly mixed. Then we'll pour it back in there and then we'll screw it on to the bottom of this gun and then go spray. A lot of times when I just pour the hardener in this little cup and pour it right into here, I always get it spraying like really inconsistent and it's because it's so hard to get this completely shaken up. So what happens is, is this will actually spray really, really great and then you'll start to get to the bottom of the can and it'll start spraying really, really thick and slow down everything. And then sometimes it jams the gun up. So it's always best if we like pre-mix it, stir it with an actual stick and then pour it back. We definitely tried building up the areas right where your feet go. Yeah. What's this majority like? How many liters you got on here? Two more? Yeah. Three? That's only three? Yeah, so you, you probably think we got two to three coats over the whole thing, but right here over the tunnel where your feet will go, because the passenger, because the rear seats sit right here, is buried probably like five coats of thickness and even up in here, uh, we put like five coats because that's where your foot's gonna sit all the time and it could wear it out. And he put a lot back here because he's not putting any carpet back in here. This is gonna be like a truck bed almost. Same thing for this. He's gonna have like a cooler. All of this stuff can beat up against this thing and hopefully protect it. I want to see the you last get it. Time Come I, on. The last time I got one of these, I was like, you're f***ing inside. <laughs> yeah. Now, like, that wasn't bad, right? Yeah. Now, you don't feel claustrophobic in there? Like, you're, you're literally like... All right, now try getting out. This is the funny part. <laughs> yeah. You look so f***ing awkward trying to get out of <laughs> yeah, This thing is... I mean, it's literally sitting on the ground. Like, the floor is sitting on the ground. But it's still a few. No, don't get me wrong. Like, I think like I'd just... rather have this over me. Uh, don't get me wrong. This thing is badass looking. But... I remember when he 
fucking first came out with these. Oh, okay, I thumped that. There we go. Stuff as hard as a rock here the next day. It looks pretty good. We got a little bit of a edge here where we put foam in there, but the plug covers that. But if I would have known it was such easy access on the bottom, I should have just back taped it. Yeah. Some of the other ones, like here, can't really back tape. See, like skid plates and stuff. Since the wire is going to be exposed and we're not putting interior back in it, Scoob's just relooming it. To make it yeah, look a lot better. This stuff is kind of dirty looking. If we got like, you know, fresh loom on it. It'll look a lot better, all exposed. guys that is it for this video that's just a little something for my Jeep fans out there if you guys are wondering what happened to my Jeep I still have my Jeep the issue is is took it up to my work to get it through inspection and everything and it passed inspection um, but the minute I took it out on the road the transmission started grinding gears insanely bad uh, so I'm in the middle of looking for a transmission I want to put an older transmission in there like an AX15 but honestly, um, all the searching that I've been doing, I haven't been able to find one that I trust, so I might actually just have to rebuild the trans. And um, springtime's coming up. This is a time when we like to go out to Roush Creek and do the trails and hang out and have fun. So I'm really narrowing down um, the only option that I feel comfortable with, and that's rebuilding the trans. But of course, I'm gonna have a video for you on that soon, once I start getting all that stuff squared away. So stay tuned. Um, anyways, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, all that. Go work on something, see y'all later.